A CONCERT TONIGHT AT LINCOLN CENTER WILL CALL ATTENTION TO THE MURDER OF GEORGE FLOYD AND THE SYSTEMIC INJUSTICE FACED BY BLACK AMERICANS. CBS 2'S DAVE CARLIN REPORTS ON THE AMBITIOUS PRODUCTION AND THE SUPPORT IT RECEIVED FROM THE FLOYD FAMILY. DAVID GEFFEN HALL, REMEMBERING GEORGE FLOYD. WITH MUSIC AND POETRY, A LITTLE MORE THAN THREE YEARS AFTER HIS MURDER. AS MILLIONS TOOK TO THE STREETS DEMANDING REFORMS BE MADE IN HIS NAME, VARIOUS ARTISTS ADDED TO THE CONVERSATION WITH MURALS, STATUES, AND NOW THIS. FLOYD IS AT THE HEART OF THIS WORK WITH A 62-PIECE ORCHESTRA, 122-MEMBER CHORUS, AND FOUR SOLOISTS, TITLED A KNEE ON THE NECK. Adolphus Hale Stork is the composer. I, like millions of other people, saw the murder and I was shocked. And I cannot believe I said, This is America. The backbone of his work is the Floyd inspired poetry of Herbert Woodward Martin. I am grateful all around. I get goosebumps. Some of Floyd's family members are here, having traveled from Minneapolis and Charlotte. They tell me they feel it's important to support this work, even though it will generate some tough emotions. We wish he was still here. We miss him. Paris Stevens is Floyd's cousin. This is about just bringing people together, and through this type of art, it, it just magnifies to a, a totally different level. He is continuing to carry the legacy of this movement. Floyd was the nephew of Dr. Angela Harrelson. When you hear a music piece that touches you, creating art through pain and love and support, it's very powerful. Family members and the creators of A Knee on the Neck want to see a world with more compassion, equality, and justice, and believe art can inspire a greater determination to do better. At Lincoln Center, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.